Oops. What's cooking without getting messy, right? Welcome back, y'all. Today, we are going to have a super different, super fun new video, and that would be Moroccan cooking. We're gonna try out. And I'm going to make makoda, makoda. But it's pretty much just like a super awesome potato fried patty. I can't wait to try this, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so first we are going to get a pound of potatoes. I hope I got enough potatoes. We'll see. And what we're gonna do with them is we're going to peel them and dice them, like cut them up, and then boil them. Okay, so wish me luck. And remember, it is important to get like a certain type of potatoes that like aren't like super like squishy or whatever, firm, like good to make french fries out of. Because you know what? Not all potatoes are created equally. Hopefully I did a good job. And now it's time to go boil them. So now I covered them with water. And now I am going to sprinkle them with salt. And now we shall just wait for them to boil. It should take about 30 minutes. Wait, little side note there. Those 30 minutes are a great time to take a bathroom trip. Okay, so now we are going to make the batter. We're going to have one cup of flour, two teaspoons of baking soda. Wait, wait, wait. Baking powder, y'all, baking powder. Uh, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of paprika, and also a half a teaspoon of turmeric but I don't have that right now, so just wait one moment, okay? Okay, so I just added uh, that half teaspoon of turmeric, two tablespoon or teaspoons of vegetable oil, and two table <laughs> two teaspoons of white vinegar, and and now I'm gonna stir in. Got that? Okay, so now we're gonna add some water to make it more of a paste consistency. So right now it looks kind of doughy. I don't know if you can see that well. But I think we need to keep adding water to this. <gasps> Oops. What's cooking without getting messy, right? It's like, no, Kenzie, that's just you. Everybody else likes to stay clean. I like to get messy. Okay, it's looking good, but I think we need to add a little bit more because remember this is supposed to be batter that we're going to fry our potato patties in. Okay. Ooh. It's not too like lumpy or anything. I think it's good. I might add like a teeny. Okay, you know, just using me a bit more. Oops. Okay. Ta-da! Now 
I'm gonna put this in the fridge and let it cool, okay? Okay y'all, so I had some difficulties filming, so just have to like mash the potatoes, add some parsley, um, I didn't have a too close of garlic, so I just added one, just smashed that, and a whole teaspoon of lemon juice, a half a teaspoon of, or a whole tablespoon of lemon juice, half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of pepper, half teaspoon of paprika, um, yes, um, a whole teaspoon of turmeric, and a whole teaspoon of cumin, and then we mixed that all together until it was completely done, and now it's in the fridge waiting for us to be ready. So I made them and just made sure to make a little ball and press it down and now we're ready to go for them Okay, so we're gonna take one of these and dip it in the batter Oh boy, very messy And then we're going to put it in the frying oil pan thing in chick and repeat So now they're frying, they look kind of messy and wild and just like me. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess, but hopefully it's going good. Some of them are starting to look better. I'm improving. So yeah, we'll see how they turn out. Okay, so I got the last of them in the frying pan and whew, and if you see over here, the first few turned out horrible blobby mashed potatoes. For well, the next few, I think I started improving and they're looking better. And I learned that you have to be patient and make sure the bottom is very firm and ready to be flipped before you flip it. And then you just want that like really golden, beautiful color. And yes, then it's ready to take out after you put both sides. So yeah, just be patient and persevere. Okay, so here's the finished product. It doesn't look the best. It kind of looked better before I cooked it, but I know it's going to taste better after, so let's see. Mmm! Delicioso! I love it, and I hope you will too. If you want to, hit the like button, and if you love this cooking thing, let me know. If not, tell me never to cook again. You can dislike it, let me know. And I'll see you next time. Bye.